Okay, so now that we have uh, created uh, the terrain, what we're going to do is we're going to start to populate that with trees. Um, but before we dive straight in and populate that with the trees, we need to set it up so that when we put a tree in there, um, you can't go straight through it. So the first thing that I'm going to do down here, in this little project I'm going to do a search for the palm tree. And so that's the palm tree there. I'm going to drag. The one that I want is with this little um, piece of paper here on the cube. You can see there's lots of different types of palms there, but that's the one that I want. Drag that out onto here. So you can see that's the palm tree there. Now that is selected by default. If I click on the terrain, it's not selected. Click on the palm, it is selected again. So that's what I want to do. Okay, so uh, now if I press the F key, that will focus nicely on that. I need to add a component, a physics component, I'm going to put a capsule collider there. The capsule collider is going to make sure that when we uh, run into the tree that people can't go through it. Okay, so now over here, if I change the center to zero on the x-axis, leave the y-axis the same and make the z-axis zero, and now I can just play around with the radius. Now, the radius, about 0.6 I think works quite well, so if I'm running along the bottom of that tree there, I'm not going to be able to run through that. So I can then say that that is my palm tree. So I've made it over here as an object in the hierarchy, but what I need to do is that I need to create a prefab over here, and that prefab is going to be what it is that I'm going to use to populate all of the trees on my map. So I'm going to call this new palm, like so. And then I'm going to carefully drag this new palm over to there. So when I click on that, you can see that that is the case there. Okay, so this has got all the properties that we had in there. Now I'm going to click on Terrain, and I'm going to press F to zoom out on that. And I'm going to go to the tree um, area here and edit trees. I'm going to add a tree. You then, I'm going to click on this bullseye, and the one by default is that palm tree there, but you can see this new palm that I've just made, I double click on that, and then OK. And I'm going to change the brush size here, and you probably don't want that over there on the desert. And if I click here, then you can see that I'm starting to populate my world with trees. So I would suggest that that is something we're doing. 